Hey, 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 fellow monkey! Welcome back to One Shot! Our goal is to reach a tower at the center of the world so we can restore its sun. Hopefully, that'll also get Nico back home. Previously, we explored the area on the outskirts of the map. We found a robot, fixed the map, and crossed the lake. Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are, are you leaving? Yes, I must return to my station. But you'll be alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Hmm. I guess tamed means something like... I don't know. Self-conscious? Oh, there's some water here. Gotta go around it. I wonder how this area is gonna be. If it's also gonna be as beautiful as the, as the other one. Oh. Well, look at that. So, this is a little town. We can see the white tower in the distance. Well, I guess we're going straight through someone's home to get outside. I don't know who lives there, but... Well... Oh, I see someone running down there. Hello? Are you dangerous? Can I talk to you? I'm catching fireflies for your mommy. What are those? Fill the small dried fish. Hmm. What are these things? There was a time where people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. Oh, so this is supposed to be the population of this world. Wait, there's something on this table. Warm coals. It's a fish too. Hmm. Another per- well, I don't know how to call them even. Hmm. Nothing's biting. You need more fish? Every jar I look at, it's filled with dried fish. But there doesn't seem to be anything over here, so let's go check more to the south. Hmm... Are those like tree trunks or something? This is actually a really pretty world. So in the first part we had the, the shrimps, now we have the fireflies. Alula? Alula, where did you go? Dart, did you hear that? Alula? I think it's coming from southeast of here. Well, first go southwest. Nothing to see in southwest. Going to the southeast. Oh, is it you? Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? I... Yeah? Oh my stars! Sorry for my rudeness! Huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look, so we're going to have to look out for her then. Hmm. To the forest, huh? Well, we'll just continue and explore further. Let's see what we find. There seems to be like a forest, kinda. This is so calming. Everything is just so peaceful, even though it's like the end of the world. A robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? We've already seen that name before on one of the batteries, right? No. Oh, carry on then. So, maybe yes? <laughs> Another robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No, I'm with Dart. Oh, carry on then. Hmm. So Dr. Silverpoint is gonna be a second 
I don't know. I don't even know how to call the beings that we find here. This is a different colored one. How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. So he means the refuge then. Hmm. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. So this is the research facility. Hello person. This is the main generator of the glen. Oh. Why didn't I actually fix one of these earlier and that plays across the ocean? This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. But let me just take a look here. My generator. This one's got a working battery. Okay. And let's just hope that the generator keeps on working and we don't have to fix this one as well. Another robot. Phosphor trees are now being protected under new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not? Phosphor trees, huh? Damn, this place must really smell. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. So is this how hell looks like? Because, you know, phosphor. So, another house with robots. Beep boop, what a collection project resuming. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um. My programming says that organic beings need water to survive, so I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. Thanks, finally something we can use. It's full of little glass tubes of water. Water samples. <laughs> Thanks for correcting us. Well, we've got some water. Oh, there's a glitch here as well. Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, we're not gonna get any information out of that bot. Because, you know, he's not tamed. Oh, this is actually a dead end. Well, maybe I have to go to the east now. So, over the bridge. Oh, I see some promising structure here. Oh, this is... The door is full of vines, Dart. Yeah, maybe we'll have to burn it or cut it. We need some tools for that. Holy hell, that's a, another one of those giant ones, but this one's got a weapon. So, the sun, you're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You need to sign your name in this scroll first. Oh, it's a scroll, it's not a weapon. <laughs> My brain was thinking it was a sword. All right, do you have a pen? Um. No. I have lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Well, or maybe we're gonna have to make our own. Our own ink. And a feather, maybe? Who knows? Oh, that's pretty. Is this what counts as graffiti? Not a robot. Hello, person. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. This might be actually where the little girl went. Hmm. Oh, more of those vines. Can't get in there, though. So, let's go down here. Yeah, this feels... This feels right. A computer. Oh, it turned my background purple. How is this game even able to do that? This just gives me a weird feeling, you know? Hello again, Dart. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information need has fallen to the most easily accessible place in your machine. Mm. Not again. Not again. <sighs> Most accessible place on your machine. What? My... Has it gone to my... Wait... <laughs> it changed the background of my... I don't know if I'm cool with this. 
I swear to god, I mean, this game literally has the power to adjust changes to my laptop. Yes, I see it. You know what to do with it then. Mm. So what does this mean? I mean, it represents a light bulb, I suppose. Wait, I can't click them, right? No, 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 that's not, that's not part of the game. So, yeah, no, 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 okay. Alright, so, I have it. Though I don't know what to do with it. It's a light bulb. Maybe we just haven't found a puzzle yet where we have to use it, so... It, yeah, there's nothing here either. This also seems like a place there might be something to do later on, or to collect something. Hmm. Oh, another robot. These finds appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Ah, that's the girl. That girl is probably beyond one of those finds. Which means we have to find something to destroy those finds. Hello person. Two children reside near here. Two children? Hmm. Oh, we can't get past this. Pathways is blocked. By blocks. Maybe we need the children to get past those blocks? Yeah, I know. Using children is bad. I know. So, where are we now? Long pathway, lots of grass, vines, watch out that we don't get stung with them, S savior. I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. Well, we should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay, it's okay, too late for me, but the sun, I haven't seen it, I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I, will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I, well, oh, but it, would it be too selfish of me to ask? I mean... Somehow I don't fully trust her. But I don't think it might harm to do so. What should I do, Dart? I wouldn't give her the sun, but I would let her touch it. But... I may be a bit too trusting with people, but I would like to give her the sun and trust her here now please don't abuse my trust warm I have almost forgotten it's so warm that's good right the, the find should be gone now I'm not afraid anymore oh she was afraid to die oh that's sad. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. But at least we still have Nico's eyes. We're like two little light bulbs in the dark. Oh! That's what she meant with the sun. She's the one who's growing the vines. So that means that there are now two passageways that are gonna be free. So let's go check out what's behind them. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Wait, what is, is that a sheep or a goat? Uh. <laughs> hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Dart? I don't think so. 
No, I don't think we want to get rid of anything just yet. <laughs> you shall serve as me! <laughs> Annoying customer at the... At the bar. Wait, what is this? A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Some kind of cloak or shawl, folded neatly. This looks like an altar. It's a staff. It reminds me of the one that robot from the Barons was holding. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. I guess this makes sense. So that was like a little shrine area or whatever. Is there anything else down here? I must make sure of it that I don't miss anything. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. I also need to go and check around the building if I haven't forgotten anything to the right. Or down here even. No. No, it's just a dead end. Okay. So let's go up here and see what we have. <laughs> it's a shepherd. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, sure. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they all return to the original positions. Good luck. Hmm. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. I'm going back. <laughs> so, yeah. Rams. But where is that little island then? Uh, so it should be over here somewhere. Is that it? Maybe down here? Ah, those are the ones. So, we push this one. We have to wait with that one, I guess. Mm. Now, I want to push this one down first. Okay. Now we can push this one over there. And push this one to his little area there. And this one to the final area. <laughs> da, 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 da. You've provided a great service all of ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks? Maybe that's something we actually want to trade. I don't know. Farmland. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. And there's no telling how long the surpluses will last. Please, savior, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. Is that all the farmland they got? That's not a lot, you know. Some houses. It's a bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. It's slowly being chipped away already. But it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I mean, bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. No lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. All the very least. I'm sure everyone will like to see the sun again. Hmm. So even if we install the sun back to its original place, it's not gonna save anything? This is it. This is the last of our grain surpluses. And now we're dealing with the vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean... <laughs> Flour. Oats. Hmm. Wow. Your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Just like the sun. <laughs> I mean, she is a cat. But actually she's not. But it's not really specified what she is exactly. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get close though. Squares? Oh, they mean the glitch. Squares, man. They're bad news. Yeah. They're talking about the glitch. <laughs> a spinning girl. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. 
I wanna see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. And let's just hope that time is on our side. There's another house down here. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Dart can make it better again. Are you Dart? Uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they send. I can talk with Dart though. Wow! What's that like? Really cool. Huh? <laughs> well, the game is trying to get me on its good side, so hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm able to be persuaded with compliments. <clears throat> Doesn't take away that I'm a little bit ang uh, a little bit anxious that the game is actually taking over my laptop slow slowly. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Um, do we have the stew? No, we don't. Well, guess we're stewless then. No stew for Nico. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to go already this far without. Oh, wait, is this. We're back at the beginning. So. That's actually it. There was another um, room inside of that building that had vines in it. So maybe we should just go and check it. So, I guess the room was a little bit uh, back up. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Yeah. This is supposed to be the place, I guess. Oh. Okay, I see what I have to do here. Oh, wait, 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 no! This is the... Let me just undo this. Now I get what the puzzle was meant for. This, right there. Alright, so... Mm, how am I going to fix this now? Right, so if I look at it again, I can see in the middle, and three, one, three, three, it's actually, yeah, three and one in the middle. Okay, so, and then we need three over here. There we go. Oh! You saved me! Oh my god, and it turned back my background. I just don't know how to feel about the game having the power to make adjustments to the settings. Thank you! I was trapped in here for so long. So, are you Alula? You know my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Kalamis must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Sure can. Are you gonna follow us? Uh, there's nothing in here. So... Are you gonna follow us? Wait a minute, how did you know I was the um, messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They remind me of the sun! Oh! Oh, in that way it actually makes sense that she's a cat. That's why you're a messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah! I'm actually from another world, you see? There's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in the tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah? Yay! Kalamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. We can at least try. So, um, I don't know. But she's a kid. And there was a room that I was not able to get in, because there was a block in the way. Now, could she help me? Pathway is blocked. By blocks. Haha! <laughs> ah, okay, she got the joke. <laughs> uh, okay, but that's... Unfortunate. She can't help me. I wonder if it's going to be small enough for me to be able to get past that. Or are we going to be able to get that block out of the way? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to deliver her to her brother then. And he should be around here. Yup, there he is. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! 
Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares you see next to the ocean sometimes. The stuff you told me to stay away from. What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff actually? Bad. Anything that touches them is just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the word is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by your name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah, huh. then would you like to visit your house, Nico? Sure. Yay! Let's go! Oh, we're following them. Oh, wait a minute, I had a hunch about this place. There was like no way this would be a dead end, that would have been strange. Oh shoot, looks like we can get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> it was just a little box. Did we seriously not even try to move it? <laughs> Damn. I'll be up ahead. I've literally never thought of that. Oh my god, that's... I'm worried now. You kinda get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're past it now. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Huh. There it is. There is what? Oh, she's back. Here, we want you to have this. What is she gonna give me? A feather, a golden feather, which means we only need the ink. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh? Yeah. She's this old lady your dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to father before she died. But I wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Well, we already have something to write with. Now we just need some ink. And I already have some water, so maybe some, I don't know, black powder or something? There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh, my friend gave it to me for a solstice day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Oh, interesting. Because it's written in a language that we can't read. I have a few more of his books somewhere. Yeah, can we use this? And talk to him about it? Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh, I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. I know, but I'm glad she got to see the sun again. I hope this crash don't spread too fast. Okay, so we won't be able to talk about the clover book to him. Maybe with the clover book itself? I really need to finish this. Nope, not working at all. Well, maybe we're gonna need it later. Mm. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna explore your house a little bit further. What is this? It's a plush toy. That's mine. Our friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too, and she can even talk. What? 
I know. I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So he got me a fox plush for Solace this day. <laughs> That's nice of him. He's the best. <laughs> the back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Hmm. It's a fishing pole. Uh, do you like fish, Nico? Yeah, well, she's a cat, so of course. So do we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know some people back home who like to eat them raw. I mean, raw salmon is the best. Come on. Ew. Yep. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that bad. But I guess that was it, so we're out of here. Anyhow, just also... A path further? Oh, hello? Hey! Oh, did they follow us? I saw you going to the courtyard. So I thought I'd tag along. Same. Well, nice of you guys to follow me. What do we have in here? What is this whole area theirs? Oh, this is dead end. Hmm. It looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now, remember? There's an abode and none of us can swim and... What's the sacred grounds? It's where the people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friends help us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see mom again. Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Hmm. Well. We do have a ferryman who might be able to help. Although... We want to get the boat on land. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to though. So I'm guessing this is like their private playground? Are those dead? Is that possum? Oh no, it's fish. Fish, fish. Yep, all fish. Lots of fish. Oh, this is also a dead end. So... This is it? Cloves? It's cloves. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. Okay, so I guess this was everything this little area had to offer, so... So let's talk to them again. Oh, are you leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. It was a pleasure. Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We'll believe in you. Well, I hope these kids stay safe. And another wholesome moment has passed. And now... Let's go talk to the spirit. Maybe she's already passed away. Oh, I went a little bit too far. Oh, she's... yeah, she's gone. The, the light's gone out. Oh, wait, no. I totally forgot about that. We were supposed to hold it in our hands. Dart? Do you know what happened? I actually do know. It only works if we touch it. Oh no, that sun spirit has... She has seen the light going out. She must have been filled with desperation when she saw that. Oh no. Oh, that's so... That's so sad. You... Really? But... But... Oh, what am I gonna do? Take it back up, take it back up. It lit up again? Phew. What did the spirit drop? She's gone. Oh, there's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. Hmm. Cardinal of corn, maybe sh this might be a I might try this for a loop here, but maybe sh we can get her back somehow. I mean, there's gotta be a way that we can use that seedling that she left behind, right? 
So this dude probably has something that we want. Oh yeah, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Uh, blah 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 blah. We already went through all this. Skip skip skip. Uh, yes, I suppose. What could we use here? So um, maybe the wool. Oh, there we go. It's kind of useless. <laughs> the item itself says it. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of ink? I'm not sure what this is actually. Some sort of fabric dye? There we go. Hmm, how about it? Yeah, we take the offer. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. So now we have a bottle of dye and a feather. A small vial filled with dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Meh. We use it with the feather and we have ink and we can write on that scroll. So now we just have to go back to where the robot is. The giant one, the guardian. So now I need to check the bottle of dye with the feather. Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. So now we have a feather pen and we've got lots of items left that we haven't used yet. Maybe we'll find a use for it. So the feather pen. It's time to sign our name. Dart, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looks like it might be a good place to take a rest. Okay, we'll do that. So yeah, this is the wall. Oh wait. Oh, here we go. It was covered by vines. Oh my god, it was so close as well. I'm a little tired from walking. Okay, now I need to prepare myself for whatever is gonna happen to my computer. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure. And it closed off again. <laughs> I guess it's time to call her back. She's dreaming again. She's walking in a big field of grain. She saw something and is running towards a village. Was she dreaming of home? Dart, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah, I was in a big field like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village, but then I woke up. Hmm, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields? The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees, and the vines, and those balls of moss floating in the water. Well, this area is just only a swamp. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say. Have you seen a wheat field before, Dart? Yup. Yup. A lot of them, actually. Oh? They're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall, sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. A food! Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. <laughs> Fish. And other stuff. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to real ocean until now, actually. I have. I have been to the ocean. And in Belgium, we actually have a really nice sand beach. Although the coastline is ugly as fuck. That's really cool, Dart. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Ah, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Dart. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. How old is Nico even? But yeah, I'm gonna admit this, me too. Really? Even though you're a god? Hey, don't play too much on my ego, please. <laughs> Yeah, I see. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. 
Otherwise, it wouldn't last long here. And again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Dart. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. And I'm glad you didn't wreck my computer while we're turning off. Anyhow, um, we didn't yet write our name on the scroll, did we? I found a pen! Sort of. Good. Please write your name here. So, scribble something on there. Good luck. Mm, thank you. So now we're going to the core of this whole world. What should be called the refuge. We're actually going up. Not through. Oh, there's another glitchiness there. What in the world? Luckily we got past it before it happened. Or something is preventing us from going back. Which will be even worse. But that just means that there's only one way we can go right now. Are those glitches... That's not good. Are those... Is those glitches the program that is talking back to us? As long as it's not going to start glitching my actual computer, I'm, I'm okay. Right, and this was the Glen area. Next up is the center area of the world, the Refuge, where we'll find some pretty interesting new characters. Also, if I didn't dox myself already, there's still many more chances for me to slip up, so you guys can keep on hoping, and I'll just keep on fearing. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!